constituents who have been deprived of a man dearly loved by all in the late hours of March 7th. The awful news of a tragic loss to the party, government and parliament reached me. A vital life had ended and I was saddened by the news of his demise. I was, it was even more devastating to me because I was with him on the 5th of March when he paid me a visit at home. It was his routine. It was therefore a grave loss with a silence as deep as death and the boldest held their breath. I stand here today in solidarity with mourners across the nation to offer my heartfelt tribute to the late John Ampontua Kuma, former legislator for Ejisu constituency and former Deputy Minister of Finance. It is hard but we trust in God. He does all things well. John's passing reminds us of our mortality and we will all be called by our maker. I am glad that our paths crossed. The news of John Kuma's passing was devastating plunging the entire nation into shock at the unexpected loss of such a passionate politician. He was renowned for his selflessness, intellectual brilliance, and warm personality. A man blessed with a good heart, his departure has left a void, and this grief is beyond consolation. Nature has dealt us a cruel blow, taking John away in his prime. Indeed, we have lost a dedicated public servant. I have lost a friend and a strong supporter. We appeal and pray to the good Lord to keep John in his bosom. While we are gathered here to mourn and still in shock, we find solace in John's remarkable legacy. So much done and achieved in his short stay on earth. His journey in Ghanaian politics transcended mere career. He was an astute legislator and a principled politician whose dedication to advocacy and profound empathy for citizens, particularly his constituents, made him a beacon of hope and a man of the people. John exemplified compassion in all he did. John's contributions to the new patriotic party were invaluable. He made a lasting impact with the young patriots. He was not only a driving force, but also a fervent advocate for advancing the MPP's agenda. Under his leadership, this group played a crucial role in promoting the party's ideals and engaging the youth of our country. Additionally, John served the party with distinction as a communicator, effectively conveying the MPP's message and fostering political engagement among the populace. During his tenure as a member of parliament, John's legislative achievements touched countless lives and uplifted many hearts. 
particularly among the youth of a Jesu constituency and beyond. His rapid rise in the polit political arena served as a guiding light and an inspiration to many. The people of a Jesu constituency crowned his efforts with a triumphant victory to represent them in Parliament in the 2020 election, and he represented them dutifully. He was a delight to listen to. His expression was audible and carefully guarded against injury to his fellow man. His language was as peculiar to him as other peculiarities of his nature. Beyond Parliament, John's tenure as Chief Executive Officer of the National Entrepreneurship Innovation Program was marked by the diligent execution of his duties, which met the admiration of all. With, the except, with his exceptional intellectual capacity and drive, his initiatives focused on empowering the youth and forging a brighter future for Ghana's next generation. His commitment to the National Development Program remains indelible and has left an enduring mark on our country's trajectory. He was also a lawyer of good standing. In that area too, he was brilliant, diligent, and professional in his dealings with his clients. His sudden death in March has been a personal blow. Long before I decided to run for president, Honorable John Kuma was among a few party leaders and legislators to have publicly urged me to run and pledged his unending support for my bid. True to his public pledge, John supported me strongly, campaigning with me everywhere in the country. When I finally announced my decision to contest as flag bearer of the MPT, he desired to see me win the December presidential elections. And I pray God will grant his desires for me and the party and the country. John's character was characterized by humility and unwavering principles. He was known to be honest, truthful, and sincere. An idol for the youth of Ejisu constituency. He faced his illness with courage. He was ever hopeful in the darkest hours of the struggle but he never ceased for a moment. This demonstrated his resilience and deep-seated commitment to democracy and public service. Today, as we honor John Kuma's memory, let us not only speak words of tribute, but also commit ourselves to deeds that reflect his dedication, service, and unwavering spirit to show that he did not live in vain. My heartfelt condolences go out to his immediate family, especially his wife and children, as well as the entire Ejisu constituency, the new patriotic party, Parliament and the government of Ghana. We stand in solidarity with you during this difficult time and we pray to God to give the family 
and those affected by his untimely demise the strength to cope in the best way. May the soul of our dear brother, friend, and patriot find eternal peace. Amen.